Hello Guardians, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. In today's video I thought I'd bring up a uh, point that was brought up about, well, the vaulting and stuff and how I mentioned in the last uh, rant video how basically the Battlegrounds activity will actually be merged with strikes and a new playlist will be formed called the Vanguard Operations. And it gave me a bit of thought now over time to what else could be added into this playlist because obviously a lot of activities like come in and out and there's some activities that never get touched which could be touched again if they're added into this playlist like think about it right now i doubt anybody's like raring to go into a battleground right now but because it's a part of the strike playlist it's nearly mandatory if you're like going to get up on pinnacle level you know and I know for certain that I'll definitely be happy that the battlegrounds have been mixed with strikes because not only will it feel a bit of a refresh, like being able to play battlegrounds for a pinnacle, it'll just feel good in general, especially with like the potential of another new strike or two that could be added in Witch Queen. Well, I say could, but I feel like they have to at this point because if they don't add another strike in Witch Queen, we're, we're going to have some problems. And you never know, maybe in the future they might be like, you know what? We don't want to make a strike. We want to make it their battleground. And like, you know, they have like they could talk to Kyle and be like, oh yeah, here's a new like battleground mission available, you know? Don't know how to do it, but they could try and tie it in. But anyway, sorry. Back to the main point. What could they add next that could be useful for that playlist? And honestly, after playing some Empire Hunts for uh, one of the bounties I needed for the Synthweave, uh, you know, the 8 and 1 stuff, I thought, you know what? Why not add an Empire Hunt or two into there? Because again, when it comes to the hunt activities, so like, when I say hunt activities, I mean Empire Hunts and Nightmare Hunts, they're barely touched as well. Definitely the Nightmare Hunts. The Nightmare Hunts are probably dead, because like, they don't give you anything at all. At least with the Empire Hunts, they still give you, like, decent stuff. If they could merge that in with, like, the Strike playlist and, like, the, um, Nightfall playlist, I think we could have something really cool, you know? Now... It's a bit of a weird one to try and put Nightmare Hunts and Strikes. But I feel like Empire Hunts might be able to suit it. Because I played... I can't remember which one it was. But the boss at the end like flew down on a uh, shank. So, you know, that's your reference there. I thought that was actually a pretty long Empire uh, Hunt. I didn't think that was actually short. But I think that's because, like, you know, Beyond Light had a bit more time to be worked and so on and so forth. Even though I don't really think they would have, like, extended the length during that time. But still, again, the whole point is... This activity, Empire Hunts, is going to be untouched when the new Witch Queen version of a hunt, if they're still making them, comes out. And I just think they'll, like, uh, de-pinnacleize, like, a lot of activities come to the start of Witch Queen. It, as a way of, obviously, extending uh, playtime. Because, you know, the less pinnacles you have, the um, more time you're going to have to play the game to get more pinnacle stuff to grind up your light level. And at the same time, you have to remember as well that... Well, we're not going to get a 10 power increase this time, I don't think. I think it'll be a lot higher than 10 because it's an expansion. And it kind of makes sense as well because you will be playing through a campaign and a story and new content in the Witch Queen and the seasonal stuff. So, like, all that combined kind of makes sense to why it should be higher. But personally, I, I, I'll just say this now. Like, I'd prefer if we just had to grind up 10. But yeah, so I think for the Vanguard Operations playlist to expand even more because, like... Even, like, if they could add other bits and bobs. Now, I don't think they could, like, add everything into it. But I think the hunts would be the next best step once Battlegrounds gets introduced into that playlist, you know? Because the more, the more stuff they put in it, the more variety of content will be in strikes. And people will be like, oh, okay, actually, I've, <laughs> I haven't played the Exodus Crash Strike in a while. That's mad. I can't believe this. And then you still pull out your ghost to leave. I don't know. Like... My brain usually turns off when I do strikes anyway, so like my I just go straight through them anyway. Now, I'm not going to lie, I've gotten to this point, and I thought by now I would have thought of other things they could have added, but like I'm thinking like if they added like the forges back into the game, like they wouldn't really suit it. Like sure there was matchmaking introduced for them, but like I don't know if people really want to go from like a strike into a forge and go from there, you know. And obviously you can't add activities like astral alignment and stuff. But that's why I would propose they add, like, another new activity node that's kind of like the Vanguard operations, but, like, a mixture of uh, older content that um, includes, like, six people. So, obviously, we're getting the new six-player made uh, activity in December, 
I can't actually remember what that's called, but if you have that astral alignment, let's say for example like the seasonal content I'm saying, so astral alignment, let's say they brought back Menagerie and a bunch of other stuff, that could be another new playlist full of stuff that, you know, would still carry on the kind of legacy of like the Vanguard Operations playlist, but obviously for six people. I think in general just doing this is a good thing, like having a playlist where you can like go into it and like play different activities will give those activities like a new reason to be used again, you know? Especially because I do believe they did say like by Witch Queen or after the Witch Queen, they are thinking of introducing a uh, weekly featured, uh, not mode, but like a weekly featured nodes in the uh, director. So for raids, obviously it would be between uh, Last Wish, uh, Garden of Salvation, Deep Stone Crypt, Vault of Glass, probably the, the raid coming in Witch Queen, and then whatever raid's coming later in like over half a year's time, I'd have to say by now, like Wrath of the Machine, King's Fall, <laughs> or Crota's End, God forbid. Unless they like revamp the whole raid once again, but you never know. And obviously another weekly feature thing they could be like, they could do is, actually I'm not really sure what another weekly feature thing they could do. I think it was just the raids. But yeah, sorry, anyway, as per normal one of the videos I'm ranting and I'm losing track of time and I'm losing track of what I'm saying. So I think I'll just leave it here. I think the next video I want to do on this channel will be talking about uh, Festival of the Lost because I'm almost done it. I'm just taking a break from it now because like I've done like the pinnacles I wanted to do for this week and I still haven't got all the spectral pages yet and I refuse to touch Gambit until the uh, Infamy rank up challenge comes out so so let me just end this video here thank you guardian so much for watching this video if you liked it obviously like it comment on some of your thoughts on what you think about the vanguard operations playlist and if you think other activities should get the same treatment because we all know that there are a lot of activities that don't get touched and then once you be like oh just sunset it you know when they could just leave it in the game and go from there unless obviously it has to be like repolished for the future but we'll see also make sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you do so desire and I thank you again for watching, Guardians.